Hi, my name is Dana. I'm a flute performance major at the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, and I was in the most recent opera production here at BOCO. I played second flute and piccolo, and I thought I would show you what it was like to play in an opera pit here at BOCO. This year we did Lee Huaybi's Summer and Smoke, so here is a little bit of what it's like to play in the pit of a Boko opera. So it starts off with the sits probe, which is the first time that we play uh, with the singers. So they're just kind of like sitting on stage, singing through their lines, and we're in the pit. It's the first time that we get to collaborate. And then the next thing you see is our dress rehearsals and then opening night. So I didn't record any of the rehearsals leading up to that because it was kind of just like a regular orchestra rehearsal but it gets kind of different whenever you get put in the pit you're with the singers but they're like above you and then it's kind of just like a fun different experience so I thought that you might enjoy to see what that looks like so welcome to the video and I hope you enjoy I realize I never explained where I was and why I was in like a little under a ledge. The pit was too small and since the flute is held out to the side, I kept hitting the cellist. So I kind of had to move back into this little like ledge, like under the ledge area. So that's why I'm in this like dark corner. I have so much room here. I can see like the legs of the conductor pretty good. Stage. Queens on opera night. Two queens on casino night. Back in my cold. Hello, and welcome to Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Please take a moment to locate the nearest exit. Exits are located to the right of the stage and in the rear of the theater. In the event. Uh
I love the weather out today. Perfect weather for opening night. Windy, cold, and raining. Woo! Sicko. It's so stunning! Look at these Christmas balls. Wow. So last thing you saw was I think when Abby and I went to Flutish Tree and as you can see I have a little bit of bed head because I took a nap you know I was just like sitting on my couch and hanging out and then before you knew it it was two hours later and I was like what happened so I took a really good nap now it's a little after five I'm gonna practice and then go to Whole Foods pick up some food things to make dinner and then Abby's coming over for dinner and then we're gonna get ready and head to the first night of opera. Before I practice I have a few little chores that I need to get done so let's zoom past that. Okay, we finished our little cleanup. So I'm gonna give you a little quick Christmas tour of like my Christmas decorations before I start practicing. <laughs> First I noticed though, this isn't correct. It's 34 days till Christmas. I am so sorry I forgot to change the day. Although when you're watching this, it'll be like 30 days or less till Christmas. Actually probably like 20. The main event of my Christmas decorations this year is my pink tree. So I put on the flash, you can hopefully see the sparkles and everything, but I got this on Amazon and I love it. Is anyone else like whenever your house is like perfectly clean it's just like the best thing ever i don't know for me it's just like ugh, love it
Christmas bows in. from her symphony hall concert hit in scared sad <laughs> killing it lizzie you sound awesome <laughs> hey tor do you think it's safe to leave my water here yeah okay. i'm gonna Welcome to the pit. This is the heavy door that keeps all the sound out. And here we have the piano. I don't think it's on. Um, I was just it looks on. Like they're fooling. This is where the brass sit. It's really dark. They have to sit in this dark hole mm -hmm. with no lights. Yeah. Because they chose Here's to play the a brass. Clarence and Lizzie. Yep. Here is the violas. Oh, the violas. Of course, I forgot about them. That channel. We'll save the best section for last. Here's the first violin. The first violin. We've never been over the here. Harp. The harp. The second violin. Wow, I've never been over here. The percussion. There's a phone charger here. The bass. Do it look like a conductor? I would be standing up here. Yeah, wait, let me get an overview. Okay, we're going to the best then section we, now. This is oh, where they mind. fall when they do a fake fall. They put a mat there oh, yeah. and then they fall. Up the stage. The second violin. The timpani, the percussion. Sometimes there's a piano here. There was a piano here in the last opera. Oh. And that's where I sat in the last. And then let's go over to the best section. Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. So this is the, um, where. The where Dana. You, where you climb up. My seat. Oh, and you have to go. So everyone starts clapping. Oh wow! This is a nice view. Look at. Can you see up there? Yeah. No. Can't see anything. Oh, he's taller than you. I feel. Like. <laughs> I don't like how high this up is. Okay. Yes, yeah, like you're a drum major. Yeah. Thank God I was never one of those because I don't understand football enough. This is my corner. As you can see, it's very well lit, and I have my own monitor because I can't see the conductor at all from over here. <laughs> and then. The flute, the oboe, and that's the pit. Thanks so, for taking us on this tour. Of course, anytime. <laughs> I got home a couple hours ago and I realized that I never finished this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight into what it's like to play in an opera pit here at Boco. This is the second opera I got to do here and um, it's always fun to get to do, although it's definitely a lot of work, a lot more work than just playing an orchestra because there's few of us, there's a lot of rehearsals, <laughs> super late nights, but, um, yeah, it was a really good opening night and, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have, like, three more performances, I think, throughout the next few days, but I'm not gonna continue the vlog because it'll kind of be the same thing that we did, like, all week with like dress rehearsals and stuff so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one